Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna look at slope intercept form and more specifically, why do we use the equation y equals mx plus b? Where did it come from, okay? So in order for us to find out, we're gonna use two points that would be in our slope intercept form equation. So let me explain that. We see y equals mx plus b. Let's start with b, okay? That's probably one of the most recognized variables. We know that is the y-intercept, okay? So since that's the y-intercept, we can write a coordinate point for that using the variable b, okay? So if we think about our y-intercept, it is on the y-axis, so its x-coordinate will be zero, right? We didn't move right or left, so it's zero comma something, whatever our number is. Well, in this case, we're just gonna use the variable b. Okay, so this represents our y-intercept, and we'll call this x sub one, y sub one, or just our first point, right? So the other two variables we're gonna talk about are x and y, okay? And so those represent just any point that's on our line. And so we'll represent um, x and y as our second point, x sub two and y sub two, okay? So now the other variable in our equation is m, and m stands for our slope. And so we can find slope by finding the difference in our y values and dividing that by the difference in our x values, otherwise known as the slope formula. Okay, all right, so now let's fill in y sub two, y sub one, x sub two, x sub one with our coordinate points that we have over here. Okay, so y sub two, y sub one. So I'm gonna say m equals y minus b divided by x minus zero. Okay, so now we can just simplify here and we could say m is equal to y minus b over x since x minus zero would just be x. Okay, so now we're gonna come down here and we're gonna say m equals, I'll just rewrite where we left off. And so now we see we have divide by x, so let's multiply both sides by x so we can undo that division. On the left side over here, we have x times m. Well, we could write that as m times x. And we're gonna say that's equal to y minus b. Now at this point, we wanna move b to the other side. And so now that's gonna give us mx plus b equals y. And so now we're practically done, right? We can now just reflect that over and say y is equal to mx plus b, all right? And that is how we can derive or get to the slope-intercept form equation from the points 0b and xy. 